out this weekend, so. Um, yeah, my story. Oh God, how old is Stephanie now? About thirteen. Uh, my goddaughter's thirteen. Um, I got involved in politics many years ago. About twenty years ago now, I got involved in politics. Um, and as part of getting involved in politics, a girl who I, a, a gentleman who was involved with me, um, had his partner had a girl called Stephanie, and his partner Wendy knew Jane um, from school. We both got asked to be godparents. Um, we then went from being godparents to um, going to birthdays, Christmas, things like that, attending Pizza Hut and goodness knows what else, um, wherever we decided to go out for a meal for the kids' birthdays. Me and Jane always seemed to get on, but about eight years later, their eldest daughter, Rebecca, said, I'm going watching Young Victoria next Wednesday, do you fancy coming? I went, yeah, fancy, it's a film I fancy seeing. Didn't know if, to me that they've invited Jane, and then they sat us both together. So um, we then got talking. Jane said, I said, oh, I'm going to see the boat that rocked to Wendy after we come back. And she said, Jane won't mind seeing that. But I did nothing, didn't do anything about it. Um, and then I texted Wendy and said, tell Jane it's, it's a good film. She said, I told you Jane would like to go and see it. Yeah, right, OK. Got the message, but I did, still didn't get the message. So she gave me Jane's phone number. Um, and I didn't do anything. So then she texted me and said, do you mind if, we give you, if, if I give Jane your phone number? So I said, yep, yeah, fine. So she did. Jane phoned me up. We went on a couple of dates. Then we arranged to go to Landodno for the Victorian Fair, and before we set off from a car park near hers, Jane said, you need to read that. And it was a five-page letter. I read it, put it on the dashboard and said, right, we're going to Landodno now. Um, yeah, fine, had a great day in Landodno. I took a little bit of notice what the TSC was. I, did, I had no idea as a lot of people didn't, until that letter. Um, and then I've since found out a lot more about it since. We then dated for about about 18 months. Um, in the meantime, Jane had asked, um, said, oh, every birthday, my mum and dad go away and I invite a few people round. Um, and about 10 turned up, most of which are here today. Um, yeah, because there's, there's Kath and Martin, there's Andy, uh, there's Kevin, there's Andra. There's, well, there's five of, five of about the 10 that are, are here today. Um, and we had a great weekend. So that's, I knew about TS, then I knew everybody was um, involved. That way, um, we went for another 12, um, another 12 months then, I said, went to Crosby Beach, the Ant of the Gormley statues, and I didn't get down on one knee on the beach, but I did ask her to marry me on the beach. Then left her on the beach, went into Crosby, and she's wondering what's going on, went into Crosby, got some champagne and two paper cups from the co-op. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there was that. Um, 12 months, was it 12 months after that we got married? Yeah, almost 12. Yeah, it was 12 months, you know, give or take one or two days from the date. Oh, no, two years. Because at the first year of our anniversary, Jane said, oh, we're doing something anniversary of the, um, was getting engaged. I said, yeah, I've got your ticket to go and watch Alden play in the rugby final. 
I had to do something else as well, but we did something. We went to Blackpool and things like that as well. Um, then we got married, um, and the rest is history, really. We had come to Outlook. Um, it's a support group, really. It's grown in... The first Outlook I did was about five years ago in Bristol. Um, it was a day event. Um, we didn't book into the travel lodge because we was a bit late um, doing it, so we ended up in the Grey House, which actually we ended up in a better hotel than they did. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was this lovely guest house, and I've been back to I mean, they've retired now, but I must have been back to the, to the Grey House about 50, 10 times since, since that first one. Um, then we missed Leeds because we went to a wedding. We did Manchester, which was five minutes down the road, so we didn't stay over. No point. And then last year, um, we went to Bourneville, which it was back at a weekend again, which was good. It was a great weekend. Um, and it had gone from 15 in Manchester the year before to about 45 at Bourneville, and we were at what? 55, 60 a year now. Yeah. But we've I Annie and Jane have ironed out the the issue that has always been there with Outlook. Um, about once you become eighteen, you become you can join Outlook. But if you if you've got complex needs, how do we go about caring for them? Um, and that's one of the things I look as a look at, and we never ever we never come up with an answer until Annie and Jane just said, right, okay, we'll book a hotel where everybody can stay, and then carers can stay, parents can stay, and that alleviated any of the issues around the insurance and all the rest of it for. Outlook, and that's why it's grown because Annie and Jane have given it along and said, right, we're going to do it anyway. You know, and they've just been, they've not, they've dodged the issue, basically, by allowing carers to come, which is great, you know. So we're here today, and that's why we're here. That's my story. Time. Yeah, I always have a good time when we meet this lot. Yeah. I mean, Jane's dad said at our wedding, You've got three families, Jane's, yours, and the TSA. Which is right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. And yeah. Do you, because um, I know how supportive you are, and I think it's great you're so involved and have been able to forge your own relationships with, as well. Yeah. Not even just through Jane, you know, people have become your friends. And well, they are. Things. They're my friends as well. I mean, I went on my my side due to Sheffield and Andy Wellington came, you know, and he's a friend through Jane rather than one of my own. And uh, so, come on then, what are you doing fundraising-wise? Fundraising-wise, I help with the Great Manchester Swim. That'd be good. Jumping in the big ditch, as they call it, the Manchester Ship Canal. Are you in a wetsuit? I will be getting a wetsuit. Okay. Yeah. Wise. Yeah, I will be getting a wetsuit. Um, I've got a TSA vest to go over the wetsuit as well, so, yeah. I didn't want the TSA vest, I wanted a T-shirt, but Annie Gibbs showed me a vest, so. When, oh, you, okay. when you sent the T-shirts up for the, the day that we did, as the, mm -hmm. the awareness day, I said, right, I wanted a T-shirt in the first place, I paid for a T-shirt, I'm having that one instead. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we did that. Um, then New Tanya set up the Manchester group, which Jane had always wanted because we would always have, we'd always had to travel to Merseyside to Liverpool, which was out of the way. Um, but now the Manchester group's going from strength to strength. Um, um, my brother's also doing the fundraising in the Manchester Swim, so. Brilliant. Yeah, so that's where we're going, and I'll think of something to do next year. Thank you very much. That's Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Phil, for sharing your right. story. Brilliant. Yeah. And uh, thank you for offering to be the organiser at Manchester. That's great. Yeah, that's all right.
I think it will go from strength to strength because we, it's increased, doesn't it, yeah. since we've um, yeah. started it? Yeah, it has. You know, and it's a great group. They all know each other. Now they know each other. It's great. Mm, nice. I like the venue as well. I think the venue's oh, great. Oh, the venue's great. Yeah. Manchester, the... Try the middle of Manchester. Yeah. It's um, really good. The, uh, really what is it? Friends Meeting House. That's it. it. Friends Meeting House. The mm. Quakers Meeting House on Mount Street. Um, which is good for me, because I'm a historian on Mount Street. is where they read the riot act that started the Peterloo Massacre. Oh. There you go. Oh, it sounds like they're having a good time. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're in the drama group now, okay. next door. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's brilliant. Thank you very yeah. much. Brilliant. And um, 